here in my garage to show you how to do a cartwheel kick. Okay, so for the cartwheel kick, boom. There's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to know first. First, you need to know how to do a one-handed cartwheel. And you're also gonna to wanna to know how to do a roundhouse kick. So step one, I would start with baby steps and put your hand on the ground and do these awkward little kicky things to get used to the movement. And uh, it also might help if your dog is not trying to box you. So once the doggy onslaught is over, uh, just plant your hand on the ground and try to do these little kicks higher and higher. And yes, it looks weird, but you know, uh, it'll get cooler later, I promise. <laughs> so then after that, you can move on to, from a standing position, plant your hand on the ground and just go ahead and swing the leg up. With this kick, we're gonna try to come up over the guard and either aim for the head or for the neck. There's not much to the kick, but it can be difficult to do for obvious reasons. So uh, you want to do the cartwheel with control. You're gonna wanna uh, come down on that one hand as fast as you can. You don't want it to be too slow or delayed. So even though this is called a cartwheel kick, you're not gonna wanna go into the full cartwheel. So you don't need to put as much momentum because you're not trying to come up all the way over. Uh, you're only trying to go about halfway. And so it's more like a handstand. So you want to go ahead and go down onto that one arm as fast as you can. You don't want to go down like slowly so when you see it coming you get kicked in the head, right? Instead of doing a full cartwheel, we're going to go into like a one-handed handstand uh, and you're going to keep the kicking leg bent until the last moment. So kind of like this, boom. You want to try to control that momentum so I'm not going overboard. You could start out just slowly and uh, lightly trying to practice so just kind of slowly go onto the one arm and bring the leg up kind of like this and then land back on that opposite foot like that and then slowly add more weight and speed to it as time goes on and this will come up over the guard and you'll be able to land the kick with better control so that you can land back on your feet so the way i prefer to do it uh, is to not throw my entire body weight into it because when you do that, uh, you can land funky and then you have to kind of scurry oh, boom, and you land kind of like this and now I'm in a bad position. So when we're throwing the kick, uh, we're not trying to keep this leg straight the whole time. Um, I like to cock it, you chamber it as you're coming into the kick so that when you throw that, uh, there's actually more of a whip to it and there's more control so your whole body weight isn't falling over because you're keeping your hips, your pelvis, uh, straight up in the air instead of going too far over. Because you want to think that the kick is not coming up over in a circular motion, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go straight down. So the momentum is not going this way to the side, the momentum is coming straight into them like that. So now that we got the basic kick down, you want to be able to set it up in a fight. Because if you throw this kick at the wrong time, uh, it's going to go very badly for you. <laughs> you have to think that when you're going down onto one arm, you're very exposed. Your arm is weak and exposed. Your head is exposed to low kicks. And so if, if your opponent is standing there ready and waiting, and you throw this uh, kick, uh, it's gonna spell bad news for you. So, some of the best ways to set up this kick, for example, Sanchai, one of the, his favorite ways to set it up was after he would catch someone's heel. So they would go to kick him in the leg, he'd scoop their heel, and then he would just drop the leg and go into the handstand kick. Uh, another thing you could do is throw the opponent off, blinding them with your fists. So throwing uh, combos, and uh, this is a good time to then launch the kick as they're distracted. Also, it's important that when you go into the cartwheel kick that you are looking. So you don't want to close your eyes or, you know, look at the floor or anything. You're, you're going to want to look at their head so that you can uh, throw the kick more accurately. I personally like to follow up that left cartwheel kick with the right because the momentum as I'm coming back up launches me right into that. And that is how you cartwheel kick. <laughs>